Alright, hello everyone and welcome to NFL Discussion. I'm your host, NFL enthusiast, Dougie Doug. In today's episode, I'm going to be discussing Thursday Night Football, Week 8 of the 2023 NFL season, Tampa Bay Buccaneers versus Buffalo Bills. And, well, this was a game where uh, it, it started off competitive, and then the Bills kind of pulled away, and then Tampa Bay... Well, brought it back to within six points and very easy, and I would say could have won the game uh, were it not for a uh, missed opportunity on a Hail Mary. And with that, we're going to get right into the action, starting with the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Baker Mayfield completed 25 of 42 passes for 237 yards and two touchdowns. Mayfield also had three rushes for 19 yards, sacked three times, Mayfield was a spin out of countless more, keeping plays and drives alive. Admirable effort, though it did look uh, f- uh, fluky when Mayfield capped a 17 play, 92 yard fourth quarter series of a 24 yard strike to Mike Evans where Evans looked like he pushed off. Um, on the uh, yeah, he pushed off. The possession had previously been extended by all manners of pen- manner of penalties and Wimsley, uh, not to mention a two point conversion that bounced off a of defender. Evan score grazed the helmet. Lucky and the guy in the box are going to need to stay competitive. Mayfield has done a commendable job of stabilizing his career in Tampa, but he is a quarterback who needs to be elevated, and there just isn't enough overall talent on the roster to do so outside of uh, Mike Evans and Chris Godwin. Speaking of Mike Evans, he got three of six targets for 39 yards and a touchdown, and it was a frustrating night for Evans until, well, it would find until it finally turned positive with him taking advantage of a fourth quarter push off to score a touchdown. Uh, it capped off the most tedious 70 play drive I've ever seen. Uh, the before the score, Evans had a long catch called back by offensive holding, uh, and you couldn't and couldn't corral an end zone target. Evans got off to a hard start this season, but has held, been held below 50 yards receiving in three of his past four games. The limitations of the Baker Mayfield on offense are becoming more apparent. So I will give credit to. Uh, to Mayfield here. He did show some toughness, but the indecisiveness got the better of him here. Talked about the sacks and everything else. Uh, and then also for the Bucks as a whole, losing that field position battle and committing some early uh, costly mistakes, penalties uh, being one of them. Buffalo Bills. Uh, Josh Allen completed 31 of 40 passes for 324 yards, two touchdowns, and an interception, adding seven carries for 41 yards and an additional touchdown. Once again, playing uh, short yardage pitch and catch, Allen did pad his yards per attempt, or did get his yards per attempt above eight after back-to-back weeks at six and a half or below. He also found the end zone on the ground for the third time in four games and fifth time this season. Although it was a boring station-to-station effort, Buffalo's offense did look better uh, as it featured more three receiver sets uh, without Dawson Nix or Knox. Uh, each of Stephon Diggs, Gabe Davis, Khalil Shakir, and Dalton Kincaid commanded at least six targets. There was a moment in the first half where Allen got a shoulder stretch and headed to the blue tent, uh, but he didn't miss a play, thankfully, and he now has 10 days to rest up for a week nine primetime outing against the Bengals. James Cook rushed 14 times for 67 yards, adding a 6-yard reception, and this has become Cook's standard stat line. He's been held below 10 carries just one time all year, and has only exceeded 15 once. Uh, he is barely being targeted in the passing game and keeps watching that Davis Murray uh, steal valuable short yardage work to, well, results that don't result in anything. Uh, dubious results, as you could say. Uh, the Bills should be expanding Cook's role, but there has been no indication that they are interested in doing so. Gabe Davis caught 9 of 12 targets for 87 yards and a touchdown, and both the targets and reception were new, or targets and receptions were new season highs. Davis entered the evening with just three previous career tank target outings. Curiously, none of them have produced a 100 yard effort. He could also suddenly have more Tucker competition if the Bills stick with uh, the three receiver personnel in Dawson Knox absence. Uh, Shakir would be a better target commander than uh, the seam stretcher Davis. So overall for the Bills, Josh Allen injured his shoulder as, uh, but did not miss a snap and he played through that pain and delivered uh, on the ground and through the air 
and without Dawson Knox, I talked about that three receiver set. Um, you know, they it was a you could tell they were making a consecrated effort to get the other guys involved, and it was and it worked out pretty well. You know, Dalton Kincaid had himself a good game, got his first career touchdown. Uh, Gabe Davis got a touchdown. So I think this is something Buffalo can do uh, going forward. Uh, it seems like it works and then the coverage on defense on point early uh they were they had mike evans and chris godwin pretty well contained which kind of stymied the uh buccaneers offense and with that that will conclude this episode of nfl discussion if you enjoyed this episode be sure to hit that like button down below